Hey guys, what's up? Having this weird error on my new TV. Uh, I'm trying to figure out. Um, hold on one second here. There we go. Hey, stop jumping that bird, my kid. So, sorry, trying to figure that out. Um, can't download Plex here. Getting this weird air code uh, 310. So I had it going a couple seconds ago. Let's see if I can. I don't know what that means, but yeah, I've actually gone on the forums and I've tried to see where it says. Failed to download 310. So I've already actually hard, hard, already uh, hard reset it with my power. Powered off a couple seconds. Uh, it's kind of went around the form, so if I get a fix for this thing, I'll uh, post it, but I'll see what happens here. But yeah, error code 310, and this is a brand new TV, so uh, yeah, I bought two TVs, so the TV in my living room actually is fine. This is a TV in my bedroom, so uh, let's see what happens, see if I can get a, find a fix for it. Because yeah, I can't watch my uh, Spectrum TV app here in Plex, and so, all right. Okay, so now I, uh, I did a uh, smart hub reset, and you just go well, actually hit hit the menu button on your on your uh, remote, and uh, then you go down to uh, smart hub, and you go down to smart hub reset, and the password is zero. Well, the default password is zero 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 four, so four zeros. So now I'm actually getting. Uh, I can't log in yet. So I know on my other TV I'd actually log in to, with my account settings before I could download apps. The so Smart Hub, and so I can't, that's still grayed out. And I also noticed like when I click on an app, so this is different than it was before, so this is definitely a good, good I think a good sign. So he says Smart Hub is being updated, please try again later. So I'm going to wait for a little bit, maybe 20, 30 minutes and see what happens. But um, so yeah, all I did was so far was a smart hub reset, and I assuming I'm gonna have to put my credentials in there again for my smart hub login, so my Samsung ID, and then that way I can download apps and hopefully this will work. So we'll see. All right, guys, so I did decided to do a hard reset, and to do a hard reset, you hit uh, you, so you turn the TV off, you hit the mute button, you hit one eight two, so that was mute one eight two, and then power the TV on. And you should see a screen like that. And you're supposed to go down to SVC. Hit OK. And then... Reset. Apps. Through apps, no? That's... SPI flash failure. That's not good. All right, well, get back on that. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I guess the, the option was I, I, I had to hit the right arrow key. Even though it said zero apps, I hit the right arrow key and it went down. And see, it says I wait. And then I guess it did some sort of reset, I guess. And let's go back to Smart Hub. Oh, there you go. All right, I'm going to power this TV off again, and I will power back on to see if anything changed. All right. All right, we'll get back. All right, let's see if we made any progress. Now yeah, we're back to failed download 310 again. What the hell is up? Huh. Hey, guys. Got an app to download here. So, yeah, check it out. Uh, I think we'll download Plex. Don't want to open that up yet, but let's see. The whole reason why I'm doing this is for Spectrum. That's cool. Awesome. So that's how I did it. So basically, I did a uh, first. I did the uh, the apps, or like I did the reset in the. Uh, oh, I'll show you. So before I was getting the Air 310, I was that you saw. So I want to look for uh, Spectrum, 
and Spectrum is the actual, uh, it's like a streaming cable service, uh, Time Warner Cable slash Spectrum. And Charter, I think it's the same thing. So look at that download right here. Boom. There we go. So, so I had two different errors. I had, first I had the error 3010, and then after that it was like uh, waiting to update. So, here we go. Well, that's it. So yeah, I did a uh, apps reset first in the menu, and then I went back and did, I did a hard reset apps reset. And so remember, I did the to get to the hard reset. I did the uh, first. You power the TV off. You hit the mute button. Then you hit one, eight, two, and then power the power the remote on. And then you go to SVC settings, and then go to like apps or reset, and then go to uh, reset the apps. And you hit the right arrow key once you get there. So. Awesome, cool. Yeah, I, I was reading online that like tons of people with brand new TVs are having this problem. So hopefully this helps you guys out. You know, um, cool. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, guys, I want to show you what the uh, Spectrum app looks like. This is a uh, Time Warner Cable slash Spectrum. And actually, the, the the quality is incredible. I mean, it's full HD, and I, so far there's like no buffering. Um, but I did actually need to buy a full uh, Spectrum account, which costs about 50 bucks a month. Okay. So, a so it looks very similar to their cable box. Okay. With the stuff on the left-hand side, you have menu, menu buttons, live TV, you can do like on-demand. So it's very similar to their cable box. But yeah, I'm surprised by the quality for the uh, streaming. So, this is A and E. I'll actually hit, hit the guide button here. Let's see here. Oh, guide. There we go. Yeah, it's not exactly. Uh, I, don't, I think it's just you know the Samsung seems to be kind of sluggish. It's not this app. Like everything in Samsung seems to be kind of sluggish. It doesn't respond very fast or remote. So. I don't know if I even get AMC. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I do. It's not. It's not really an HD movie, so you're not gonna get representation of the. Let's go back to guide. Okay. Yeah, I get my local channels like Channel Seven and stuff. Let's go down to. Actually, I want to go up to a filter here. Second here, or actually, up. Oh, sorry, you have to hit guide, then the left arrow key, and I want to filter this by channel number, and not. Okay, yeah, it's easier for me to go by channel number because I know the channel numbers are already. There, discovery. There we go. So yeah, it's actually I'm streaming this from two TVs now. This is my bedroom TV, but I have it going to my living room TV too as well. So cool, no cable box. So I'm able to do this and uh, do my Netflix, Amazon Prime, and cable TV with no cable box, and all I have is a Ethernet cable, power, and my over-the-air antenna. So. That's it.